So I want to quickly introduce you to, to the first Keyshot file that you're going to find. And uh, I've been recording that in the wrong order, but uh, hopefully uh, in the numeration, it's going to be in the correct order. So um, this is uh, just the blackout file that I, that I used. And uh, this is kind of an important step because Based on my composition, this is where I've exported the blackout uh, geometry, and uh, and where I'm I'm testing if um, the light and shadows patterns are working uh, against my uh, value composition. And um, if I'm if I'm right, if I'm going here and choosing material editor, and I putting this on flat. Okay. Uh, you see that, in fact, uh, I um, I cheated a little bit. I cheated a little bit, and I already have this mid-gray value in here. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't remember in, in the other chapter that I cheated, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. I, I cheated because I, I wanted to, to stick with my... Um, with my initial value sketch. And probably at this moment, what I learned from this is that uh, to have the correct value in here, uh, having a white materials with the shadows uh, wasn't sufficient enough to have this mid gray. So somehow I, I'll have to, to see if I, if I want to stick with my value sketch, I have to do something about the local colors of the elements that will be in here because this uh, straight white local value that I have here in the shadows in here can't possibly give me the correct, uh, the, correct, the correct value. So it means that I have to use the local values, the local colors, local values of the elements to get the correct, uh, the correct, uh, the correct uh, final uh, gray, the correct final value. If I go back to a diffuse materials, you'll see what I mean. Mm, if I can grab this very piece of geometry in here, I'm going to unlink, unlink the materials and edit it. And now I'm going to remove the texture file that comes with the brush. So now I only have have the real colors to to play with. I'm going to do the same on this piece of geometry and this one. Unlink the materials, link the materials again, edit them back. So now I'm going to disable the texture file that comes from the brush and set a white materials. So doing this, it gives me um, better understanding and it it doesn't work that bad. No, I'm going for a flat. I can see this is a, a really bright local value, but on, in a diffuse material mode and with the shadows, I kind of have the correct um, the correct value that match my uh, my value sketch. <clears throat> so I'm happy with that. And uh, this is also the, the step where I'm going to decide about my lighting make a different try about the environments and uh, just you know see how it looks with the various with various materials if if it work if the value are working for example if i select this piece of the geometry and link the materials and edit it and uh, assign a, a metal materials for example okay so it, it give me um, a good idea of how it will look like uh, with a metal material. So if I'm adding a bit of roughness, and it's even brighter. Let's try that uh, glass material that uh, I'm going to assign later on. And uh, this glass material gives give me the correct colors. I can remove the ZBrush colors. <coughs> Go for the chosen 
local values. And in the glass material, the, the value of the material is deciding of the degree of transparency. So here we can start to see through, but the values are still quite dark, so it's fine. Here, here is the blockout mesh in uh, in uh, in just uh, a moment. I'm going to to show you the, the final rendering files and uh, how I uh, exported all the, the different rendering paths and the um, the different mat materials and uh, and texture files that are set up. 